Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video and this is going to be a condensed version of everything shown in the Godzilla Battleline Summit today. We are going over the two new units and a bunch of fun other goodies. We're going to go in the order in which things were revealed to us. All right, there's a ton of fun information. There's some very complex information here, but we're going to go over it piece by piece. First things first, the new season goes live on August 30th and it ends on September 30th. So full month and from my understanding on what was said during the stream we're going to get something like a little bit over 2000 g stones as a reward when the new season goes live because of the amount of people that liked and retweeted the announcement of the live streams post on twitter so if you don't have a twitter that's probably the best way to keep up with battle line stuff that's how they do votes that's how they do you know all these contests and stuff so even if you don't like twitter or x or whatever probably good to just have one for battle line information in general but besides that let's talk about the brand new character void Ghidorah. okay this is a complex unit very cool though it's our first four star effect piece high dimensional monster Ghidorah. rarity is four costs and then it also or rarity is four star sorry it costs three six and nine it can attack ground flyers facilities i believe you can hit I don't actually know if it works with the leaders. I'll have to check the game plan on it. It doesn't say leaders here, but it, it might. I don't know why it wouldn't. It's an, event, it's an effect piece. So, when activated, it deals a percentage of maximum HP based damage to all enemies every second for a few seconds. We don't know what that percentage is. We just know that it's doing a percentage of enemy health. The cost of use will automatically change from 3, 6 to 9. Like how, you know, Destroya goes from like, what, 3, 3 to 7 or 2, 3, 7, whatever it is. So, depending on your current cost and the higher the cost of use, the stronger the percentage of damage and the attack time. So, when it's at 3, it is the weakest. When it's at 6, it's in the middle. When it's at 9, it is the strongest. Depending on the cost of use, the presentation and line spoken by Metfees uh, when using it will change. And the number of Ghidorah heads that appear will increase 1, 2, to 3. So... He doesn't appear on the field like a regular unit. It's an effect piece. So instead of like you use Dimension Tide and it appears for a second and it goes away, this is more akin to when you use Super Mecha Godzilla and you place him on the field and he does that little animation where he spins around, you get all the lasers on the screen. This is that. The first deploy of him, it's going to be one head and Mephiles is going to, or Metfees is going to say something. Two, uh, on your second deployment, two heads are going to show up. He's going to say something different. And then on the third deployment, He's going to say something different as well. I'm not going to show gameplay in this video, but I'm going to record one going over the gameplay shown to us today, uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning. So stay tuned on the channel for that. That is everything for, for Void Ghidorah. It's not super complex. It is definitely super interesting. It, yet to be determined if this is going to be good or not. I think it's going to be at least halfway decent. Now, the bulk of this video is probably going to be talking about the new Mecha Godzilla, because this is an extremely complex unit. It is, I don't think as complex as the Chibis, but it is close. So, new battle piece, Mecha Godzilla, anti Godzilla super heavy nano metal battle weapon. Rarity is a four, it costs eight, it is movement type of ground, and can attack ground, flying facilities, and leaders. Okay, so when it, it can also be, it can also be a leader. So, when it is a normal unit, Upon entering the battlefield, it generates a nanometal particle dispersed thermal energy buffer layer around itself, greatly reducing the damage dealt to Mechagodzilla by long distance attacks. This is exactly the same as the shield that Thousand Year Dragon Ghidorah gives itself, except this is specifically to prevent long distance attacks. Thousand Year Dragon Ghidorah is just an in general defense boost. Mechagodzilla is also stun immune. He performs three single target attacks using the blade launcher when he is near the allied leader just before the center of the field. So when he's close to your leader on your side of the field, he's using a blade launcher ability. When he is near the enemy leader in the back of the field from center, he uses the hyper lance. It performs a linear attack, a linear area attack, so similar to Super Mechagodzilla's beam. Hyper lance deals additional nanometal damage after a delayed lance thrust. So it's going to hit a target, it is like AoE piercing, and then it will do damage over time. It like leaves nanometal on it, does damage over time. When he is a leader, it has a normal attack, it attacks a single target three times with a blade launcher. And when it's special unit ability, it's kind of hard to read here, so we'll go over it later. But it's a... <laughs> the... I can't even read the name of it, it's kind of blurry. But the gist of it is, we're going to look over in a second... 
uh, he will reduce the energy cost for 20 seconds of all characters that have a 2.8 second attack speed or higher. So they were nice enough to share a bunch of in-development looks of him. I don't actually know if there was gameplay for him or not, but they showed us a ton of really cool in, like, in-development looks, which I really appreciate. So this is the normal attack one. This is the blade launcher animation. If you are close to your team leader, attack with the blade launcher deals long range damage to a single enemy three times. So not AOE, but someone is getting hit three times, similar to how Wakasabe Godzilla hits three times. Here is the Mecha Godzilla uh, nano metal device attack. This is the attack that happens when he's close to the enemy leader. If you're close to an enemy leader, attack with Hyper Lance. It deals damage in a wide linear range in front. Also does additional damage with the nanometal particles. You can kind of see the nanometal particles on the ground right in front of him. So very cool. And then there's like a big text blurb on the left of all these. That's just like about the abilities, but not like in-game stuff. It's just like lore. So here is the particle like shield that he gets. You can see it acts very similarly to the... Uh, Thousand Year Dragon Ghidorah one, when HP is over 50%, a nanometal particle dispersing energy buffer layer is constantly formed around it. If the distance between Mechagodzilla and an attacking enemy unit is over 65 meters, damage to Mechagodzilla is reduced by 50. So anyone that is attacking him with a range of uh, 70 or higher, or technically 66 or higher, is going to get their damage reduced. It doesn't look like this is on a timer like Thousand Year Dragon. I, I'm not sure if that if it was in the gameplay or not, but from their written descriptions, this does not seem like it's on a timer like Thousand Year Dragon. It seems like it's just always on, but I could be wrong. Here is the lead ability, the nano metal like hyper neutron focused laser cannon. Its special move is a converged uh, neutron cannon that transforms if it deals a lot of damage. Uh, it says if it deals a lot of damage to enemies in a specific straight line range, it will grant the additional effect of reducing the cost of units with an attack interval of 2.8 seconds or more by one. So from the way this reads, you have to damage an enemy. It doesn't seems like it doesn't matter what the enemy is, but if you damage an enemy, you also get a one energy reduction on all of your units with a 2.8 second attack speed or more by one. So you can reduce the attack speed or you can reduce the cost of Ultima you know, Godzilla Earth, some big hitters with that. So very interested to see what people cook up with this. It seems like it could be a good leader ability, but he looks kind of busted on the field. He actually looks like really solid. We're going to have to wait and see what the stats are and everything for the numbers. Also, the leader ability, they did show gameplay of the leader ability. It was a four cost leader ability. I don't think that's mentioned anywhere on these panels, but in the video they showed, or I mean, in the gameplay they showed, it was four cost. It's not on these panels. So it is subject to change we've seen things like that change before but for now it is a four cost ability next we have this this is the rundown of the season i don't remember what all this says i think i have maybe a different one saved uh i think this is for the the ultimate pass information uh this basically is just saying that they are they are available like wherever normal units are in the battle pass in the arena and like offers and stuff so just standard places uh Void Ghidorah is the battle pass monster, and Mecha Godzilla is the ultimate pass monster. Here's the ultimate pass, or maybe it's the other way around, and Void Ghidorah is the ultimate pass monster, and then Mecha Godzilla is the regular battle pass monster. That looks like Void Ghidorah in the ultimate pass, so we're going to say Mecha Godzilla standard pass, Void Ghidorah ultimate. Uh, next, here's just some offers, very typical offers that we get every season. Here are login rewards. After 15 days of logging in, you're going to get a free piece of Godzilla Earth. After 10 days of logging in, you're going to get a free piece of Mechagodzilla uh, anime. So animated Mechagodzilla or Mechagodzilla Earth, however we're going to call them. But they're both you both get them for free just for logging in. Seems like Void Ghidorah is going to be more timed exclusive like some of the Ultimate Pass units usually are. So I would expect maybe halfway through the season we start getting a login calendar for him to be free too. But no mention of that right now. All-Star Battle starts uh also this is this is not the all-star battle announcement this is the season announcement right here so august 30th that's the seasonal artwork this is the all-star battle announcement uh there's no date on it but the new mecha godzilla will be the all-star battle leader so i assume in the store there's going to be some godzilla earth pieces or mecha godzilla pieces perhaps or godzilla earth themed cosmetics so if you're into those you're into those oh look i make it make my sticker next 
the Godzilla Battle Piece Breakthrough Commemorative Login. So they're going to do a login calendar that's going to get you after nine days, one of the golden maps, the mystery maps, and then on the last day you get a legendary map. Uh, I This is for finally hitting 100 battle pieces. In the game right now, there's 98. The two new units will be 99 and 100. So everyone's going to get a free four star for the 100th uh, event login. So it's going to go from 8.30 to 9.13 doesn't go the whole season very limited time to get through this so we don't know how long it's going to last it could be every day from 8 30 to 9 13 or like you know three days shorter than the expected time but i would just log in at the beginning of the season every day to get this oh gosh next is the gift campaign to celebrate four million downloads you are going to get a free four star battle piece every day from 8 27 to 8 30 so i believe what 8 27 is today so you're going to log in you're going to get burning godzilla for the 1 million downloads the next day you're going to get a gmk the next day you're going to get a minus one the next day you're going to get a godzilla the ride version so for the next four days until the new season make sure you're logging in because you are going to get a free four star if you don't have them this is going to unlock them for you if you do have them congrats on another level perhaps for them Next up here, there is going to be a competition on Twitter. I, I am not sure if you have to live in Japan for this or not, but they are giving away... Nope, that's too far. They are giving away a signed artwork from the season by uh, Hiroyuki Shishida, the director of the Godzilla trilogy. I believe he's also the director of the Gamera uh, Rebirth anime. So if you want to enter the giveaway, you have to have Twitter like we talked about earlier. Next, this is the new shop update. It is going live in November. They're adding these units to the daily sale in the shop. Super Mecha Godzilla, Tokyo, uh, it's Tokyo Bay Godzilla 1954, Minus One, Minus One Ginza, the Shinden, Orga, Kiryu Hat, Mogera, and Space Godzilla Fukuoka are all coming to the shop in November. So we're going to have to wait a little while, but that's what they decided. Next are the balance adjustments for the season, and I think they are very lackluster, but we might see a resurgence in the flyers. So, Mothra Leo is getting an increase to their HP and an increase to their attack power. Fire Rodan is getting a lowered cost and then increasing the effect of increased movement speed and increasing the duration of the movement speed boosts. So, Fire Rodan resurgence, probably not but him being a four cost probably is going to be pretty decent so fire Rodan, most people have him in the mid 20s if you've been playing for a long time now probably a good change there mothra leo getting increased hp probably a good change i really don't see a lot of play for mothra leo in the future and then mega gear is getting the cost reduction is good i think that's something that i've mentioned on stream a few times and in my uh balance adjustments video with Rick to squirrel we would like to see some mega gears changes so this is nice not going to be very impactful but it's nice to see Next, we have the regardings of the classification of the G token display. It says, depending on the route of acquisition, you know, you get the free whatever. We've gone over that 100,000 times. But the more important info on here is time of start of display of categories is after maintenance on September 25th. The maintenance date is subject to change. They've pushed this back a few times already. The tentative date for the G token switchover is five days before the this coming season ends on September 25th. So if you are at all worried that this currency change is going to prevent you from getting stuff in the daily sale, I would maybe start buying stuff out of the daily sale now. It's not going to affect your unit upgrading. It seems like this is going to affect mostly what you can buy in the store with the G tokens. We'll see closer to this date. Next is their end of the year roadmap which i think is a little bit lackluster so from september to december and december is their three and a half year anniversary we are going to be getting the first new battle memory general election so instead of voting for a unit we're going to vote for cards and then godzilla battle champion mini festival which is a new tournament that they're hosting and then there's new information coming soon that we don't have information on so first things first is the new battle memory election they're gonna probably do this on twitter like they did all the old voting polls so the new battle memo will be decided by your vote the voting lineup presented by the management team was selected from various scenes from the godzilla movies voting begins in late september probably around the 20th or the 15th i'd have to assume i don't know how it's going to work i'm going to go off the rim here or off the bat i guess off the cuff and say that the top three cards will get added because every season or every like half season they do three new cards I can't imagine this election only results in one card. Probably the top three cards will be picked. I'm super excited for this. I like when they let the community vote. 
if there's a Godzilla 1998 card, that's what I'm that's what I'm pushing. Next is the Goji Bado Mini Festival 2024 October to be held. This time everyone will be able to complete or compete online. So they held a tournament earlier this summer uh, in Japan only. You could have participated online, but you had to be in Japan to get into the finals. That's why, you know, you know, I didn't participate, but 99 Orga did. I think he has a video talking about his experience doing it, so I would check that out or just ask him on Discord about it. I'm sure he'd love to talk to you. Shout out 99 Orga. Uh, so this tournament is the Godzilla Battle Champion Mini Festival. is an online tournament where participants can create their own strongest monster team and win and battle each other and aim to be the best. It is going to go, or the entry period, I'm sorry, is from 1,700 hours on Tuesday, September 10th to 2,359 hours on Monday, September 23rd. So your entry period is the September 10th to the 23rd, and then the tournament will begin sometime in uh, late, mid to late October, I believe is what they said. So they're going to run the tournament using Tonamel. I don't know what that is. It's probably what they used to run the last one. This is available for everybody, regardless of where you are. It's a completely online tournament. I'm very curious to see how this is going to work. I'm for sure entering. I am probably going to make videos on it if I'm in the tournament. I am extremely curious on how that is going to all work out. And finally, this is the final piece of information. This is the teaser for the next unit after... I would say the next unit after the September season. This could be a new tease for anything. I think it's the tease for the October unit. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at here. Last time he did something exactly like this, and I thought it was Baragon or the Gotengo, and then we got Gyron. Maybe this is Gyron alt form. I don't know. I, I'm not even going to guess on what the hell I'm looking at here. He could be a boat. He could be a knife. I don't even, I don't even, he could just be pointing off screen at a toy. We don't see. I don't know, but that is your teaser for the next unit. And that is also the final piece of information we got from the live stream. So let me know what you guys think about all of this information down below. I am super excited to see how Mechagodzilla fares out as an eight cost. He has actually like kind of a busted kit. It looks on paper fantastic. In practice, we're going to have to wait and see. So that is what I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.